An Application Programming Interface, or API, has been developed for Optic Studio that enables connections to and customization of Optic Studio using the latest software technology. This API, which we refer to as zos-api.net, relies on a COM interface, but is rooted in .NET libraries. As such, programming with the API can be done using either C++ or C Sharp, depending on the user's comfort with either language. Programming may also be done using higher level languages such as Python. Within Optic Studio, templates are provided to help users begin developing new applications based on the API. These templates may be found under the Application Builder section of the Programming tab. Templates are available in C Sharp, C++, MATLAB, and Python. For both C Sharp and C++, Templates are available for the four modes in which an external application built with API can connect to Optic Studio. Standalone mode, user extension mode, user analysis mode, and user operand mode. These modes can generally be categorized into two different groups. Full control groups, uh, which correspond to the standalone application and user extension modes. Um, and in a full control group, uh, the user generally has full control over the lens design and the user interface. With user analysis and user operand mode, uh, this is more of what we would call a limited access uh, group. And this is a group in which the user is locked down to working with a single copy of the existing lens file. Once the application has initialized communication to Optic Studio in any one of the four available communication modes, files can be loaded, System settings can be changed, and data may be obtained from any number of analyses. Note that multiple system designs can be loaded in any of the four available communication modes. More information about each of the four available communication modes may be found in the Help System, which is easily accessed from the Help button in the Application section of the Programming tab. We strongly recommend reading the full documentation provided here prior to developing applications for the API. We also recommend that you review our article in the Knowledge Base on the API. This article will review specific details regarding the existing functionality in the API. Documentation about the methods, classes, and interfaces used in the API may be found in the Interface documentation, which may also be accessed from the Application section of the Programming tab. For applications built using any mode other than standalone mode, the resulting executable file must be placed in an appropriate folder of the Optic Studio installation in order for that executable to be used with Optic Studio. Those folder locations are provided in the help documentation. All user analyses that are placed in the appropriate folder will appear in the corresponding drop-down within the application section of the programming tab. Similarly, all user extensions which are placed in the appropriate folder will appear in the corresponding drop-down within this same section. Optic Studio provides examples of both types of applications, both a user analysis and a user extension. And these examples can be used as starting points or references for users wishing to build applications in either of these communication modes. The source code for these examples may be found in the zos-api sample codes folder, which is located in the data path uh, of Optic Studio. ZOS-API.net provides a powerful means of communicating with and or customizing Optic Studio. The API provides the ability to write applications built on either C Sharp um, or C++ code. Uh, the API allows applications to either communicate directly with opened instances of Optic Studio or to run Optic Studio as a background process. A significant amount of functionality already exists in the API, uh, but we will continue to be building on this functionality uh, with future releases of Optic Studio.